my god. Oh my god, that's a... What is that emo doing? Is that of God of War? Is that the guy from God of War? Alright, I'm sorry. So, hello everybody, welcome, welcome, first off. Welcome everybody to my live stream. And to anybody that will be watching this on my YouTube channel, welcome to you guys as well. Anybody that's new to the channel, new subscribers, new followers, hello everybody, I'm RDH Davis, and we're going to continue where we left off with The Evil Within, uh, celebrating its anniversary, so let's go ahead and get started. Sorry, we were just talking about emotes, and see like if I need to switch around some of the emotes. What happened? Oh, I remember it takes a while. Don't forget it's PS4. But yeah, let's see what's going to happen on today's episode. Uh, load. You like the DVD ones? Let me see. Which one is it? This one. Yes. I think this emote is funny. <gasps> yes! Oh, cool, Mr. Fox. I liked that one because I liked Bowser, the way he was laying down when you first encounter Well, sometimes it's rare. You might, in Mario Party 3, when you, <gasps> when, when you step on his space, he's like laying down. And he's like, paint me like your French girls, Mario. Hey, it's toxic. Uh-oh, what's going on? The villagers from Mario 4? A scarecrow. Huh? Oh God! Oh! Detective Castellanos. Was that someone else's memories? Oh, my pants were on fire. Let me see. The leather face one reminds me of how I feel. <laughs> the one over there? <laughs> Just want to swing that chainsaw all over the damn place. Toxic, how are you? Good to see you. How was your Sunday? Are you working right now? That one's funny. Children of the corn? I guess so, man. I guess so. Children of the... El Niño de Elote. Yes, unfortunately, working. Aw, I hope work is going good, though. Did you just go in, or you've been at work for quite a while? Oh, nurse? You were moaning in your sleep. Have a bad dream? <sighs> My favorite is this guy. <laughs> Hey! Quiet down over there! Let go of me! Let go of me! Damn, hold on. Well, you know what they say. You know what Snake said. He kept alerting the guards because of the sound of his clap. Of his, the clap of his ass cheeks. They're just so dummy thick. You've been here since 7 p.m.? Oh, Lord. Hello? No. No. Not that way. No. Okay, okay. Hold on. Anything? No, no, not that way. <gasps> no, 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 no. I'm not going that way. Okay, okay. No, no, not that way. No. Hold on, let me see. What's going on here? <laughs> Who's my neighbor? <laughs> Please refrain from agitating the others. Uh. Hmm. Because of the other, of the other face, he did the chainsaw thing with the weed eater. <laughs> it got disturbed. That sounds like me. That sounds like me when they take me to the madhouse, Mr. Fox. Hey! Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Hey, player one. Player one. How how do you do? You love to Is that her name? Tatiana? She's the best. I she's gorgeous, man. When I first met her, I was like, she reminds me of Lisa from Silent Hill. And she's just just hearing her voice and everything, she just makes you feel so at ease and com it's it, her voice is comforting. I always enjoy coming here to visit her. You don't look well at all. And she's a mystery. I'm just like, who are you? Well, now we know her name, guys. It's not Nurse Joy. It's Nurse Tatiana. The dog is like, I'm going to ride. Do I have any keys? I do. I have two keys for today, guys. So let's see what locker we'll be opening today. Poor Lisa from Silent Hill. I know, man. When I finally had the privilege to play that game, I was like, oh my god. Oh, more juices. Don't mind if I do. Shit. 34,000. All right, chat. Your time has come once again. Which locker shall I unlock? Well, locker. Well, safe or whatever it's called. Should I unlock the top? Middle or bottom? The choice is yours once again. My fate rests in your hands. Choose wisely, because if you choose poorly, I'll die. Simple as that. I'll, I'll just die. I'll, I'll just drop dead right here. I'll look like... I'll look like that. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> More handgun bullets. I guess, well, I, that's good to know, at least. <gasps> what? I can't go in there? Nurse, I can't. Well, that's weird. Why can I? Why couldn't I open the door over there? Now, let's see. Is there anything I need to upgrade? Or should I just keep going? Hmm. Not yet, I guess. No, but we've, op we've opened that door many times in the past. So I wonder why we couldn't open that one. <laughs> Stamina? Oh my god, player one. That was like the first thing. When I saw how little the bar was, I was like, shit. I'm gonna increase I'm gonna level up my stamina because this is ridiculous. <laughs> it sucks because the when he when he runs out of stamina, he like stop like he stops and then takes a little breather. I'm like, dude, you have a monster. You have monsters with weapons in their hands chasing you, and one with a chainsaw and doing God knows what. And you're gonna stand, stand, stand there and take a little breather. <gasps> there he is, boy, Guzzy Davis. I'll be back in 40, 45 minutes. It's meditation. <gasps> Go for it, boy, Guzzy. Meditation time always comes first. Enjoy your meditation. It's always a good thing. His smoker lungs? What do you mean, Mr. Fox? Exactly, it sucks. Definitely, I agree. I agree. Um, no, but I did. Oh, shit. Well, you know what? Since we have a, enough... Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I don't care. I don't care. I got money. I got money. I don't care. No receipt. No receipt, thank you. Because I am not... No. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's let's fucking go. Come on. I got money. I got no kids. I got no bills to pay. No. Let's just fucking go. Okay, great. <laughs> if I was in a horror game or movie, I would be screwed. <gasps> you better not be, Mr. Fox. I will, like, stay behind and be like, Mr. Fox, get off your ass. You're like my friend, my best buddy, my sister, Spirit Lily. She's like, oh no, if a killer's 
running, chasing me, or if like it's a zombie apocalypse, I'll be the first to die. I'm like, why? She's like, I can't run. I'm like, you are gonna get in a basket or something, and I'm gonna push us both until we get the hell out of that area. <laughs> okay, time to buy Uncharted 4. I'm invincible. I better be. Hey, look, guys. Look at that photo. That woman in the chair looks like... What's her name from Resident Evil Village? With the doll? This girl's eyes are being covered. There's an old man, and then this kid's face has been ripped off. Memories are the best <gasps> things indeed. It can be easy at times for memories to be distorted by others. That is why they must be cherished. <gasps> oh, nurse! <laughs> I thought we were gonna teleport. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Good gravy! What happened? What the hell? We're still here. That woman in red looks familiar. Lady in red. You look as if you'd seen a ghost. Oh, I've seen a lot of shit lately. Oh, look, the newspaper! To think we could have missed it. <gasps> Estate fire. Estate fire claim, claims children. Daughter badly wounded. Where are the parents? Children playing in barn in Victoriano Estate burned in fire. Daughter, 17, left in... Ooh, state. Source of fire... Undetermined. That's the same girl in the picture, guys. The mom is pretty. Okay, well, I think we should keep going then. Or should we save? Let me see. That was the last thing we did, so let's save here. Don't put your your hand on that. <laughs> Do you remember? Oh my god, Mr. Fox. That part in Silent Hill Homecoming. Hey, by the way, I love Silent Hill Homecoming. But that part when I stick my hand in that hole, that scared me. Because I was like, dude, don't be like James Sunderland. I don't know why the fool would stick his hand in holes. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? It's a sunflower. What's his face? That's, uh, that's Ruvik, guys. What the hell? Looks like we're in the forest once again. Are 31% off? Oh, really? Are those like the good mics? Are those like the really good mics? Well, there you have it, folks. If anybody's looking for some good mics, they are 31% off on Amazon right now. And remember, if you subscribe with me, you could also subscribe with Prime. You could also get that Prime membership and get that fast delivery. Brought to you by The Evil Within by RDH Davis. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Rubik sounds like a, a Rubik cube. Rubik sounds like a drink. Uh, yes, I'll have a... Um, a large drink of Ruvik, please. Yes.
Would you like some ice in that? No, no, thank you. No ice, thank you. A rivet coming right up. Okay, we're getting some good shit. Because remember, guys, we fought against that damn uh, giant dude with a safe on his head. And that thing kept teleporting to one of those boxes to uh, in, uh, in one room to the other but we were able to we were able to crush that son of a bitch but we saw there's another huge monster that chased us after we spoke to the doctor so that could be the new monster that we'll be dealing with next amazon sponsored davis <laughs> all right guys let's go this forest seems familiar It gives me the feeling like I'm trying to search for Alpha Team and that their helicopter crashed around here somewhere. Hmm. I don't know why. And I have a feeling that there could be zombie dogs in this forest. <laughs> but zombie dogs in a forest. Who would think of such a thing? seen that house somewhere. Ah, <gasps> uh, hold on. <laughs> Why? Why, Toxic? The muscles. When I read Muscle Man, I thought about that woman from The Grinch. The muscles. Oh my god, to think I would have missed this. I knew I was going to forget something. I was like, best to check one more time. Good thing I got it. Map fragment number 15. Okay, we're back on track. Alright, let's go. I've never been here before, but... No, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Isn't this the hospital? But just back in the day, I guess? Look, like, the way it's designed. The road. No freaking way that this is the hospital. It is? Holy shit, I just realized! I guess it's it was just smaller back then until they decided to extend it and make it into a, like a a hospital. I, I I was like, wait a minute, this looks the road here. Back off, shoot. No, no, it can't be the hospital. Yes, like Toxic said, this has to be the Spencer Mansion. That means Joe and Chris should be here any minute, along with the STARS members. We should wait for them. In the meantime, let's search the area. Oh shit, I did not know I could go through the bush. <laughs> Mr. Krabs. I, 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 I. Guys, when I played, what was it? Detroit Become Human, and you guys told me that that man who was um, Connor's partner, or his boss, that that was the guy who did the voice of Mr. Krabs. That is so cool. Now I'm like, I saw him like come out in other films and shows where I'm like, that's Mr. Krabs. To think that he voiced Mr. Krabs. I think that's cute. <laughs> yeah, Hank. Enrico, no! They should be here any minute, guys. And then we'll hear that... That conversation they have. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? 
Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. Well, we've got to find... They won't come. <sighs> Perhaps they're already waiting inside. Wait, wait. Don't let your guard down, because God forbid, what are those bombs around here? <gasps> Our juices? And shotguns? Hell yeah. Okay, that's what... Okay, so guys, I've noticed that shotgun shells are hard to come by in this game. So I'm going to try my very best to save my shotgun shells for boss fights because... Damn. No, but then again, I am using them for the boss fights. I just run out so quickly. Rubik will mess with, with stealth his key. But Ruvik, what the hell does he want with us, man? Okay, I think that's everything, guys. Alright, guys, shall we go in? Doctor! Wait! Now what? Cruelest Intentions, Chapter 9. Oh, this is so Resident Evil. <gasps> Don't mind if I do. Can I go back outside? Oh, son of a bitch! Please tell me I did not miss anything outside. I swear to God, if there was like a... <gasps> I think there was a statue outside, wasn't there? Wasn't there a statue? Was there a statue with a key outside? Right? It's a nice mention. I think there was a statue with a key outside. I hate those moments where you can't go back. <clears throat> <gasps> Hope that wasn't expensive. <clears throat> oh, this is so Resident Evil. The dining room on the left side. There's a diary. Mentioned dining room note. I finally come to recognize the way, the portal to a new world. The details are all there. I have been right in... Wait. The details are all there. Wait. The details are all there. Have been right in front of my in front of my nose. I'm appalled and... Sense that I did not see them sooner. The process to break down a human psyche. To obliterate it and give myself free reign is so obvious and now that i see it now that i now that what i have to do is in front of is in front of me i feel as if there is nothing else i can do i can have everything i sought everything i've lost but i need resources Jimenez, that cretin will finally begin to earn his keep oh i know who this diary belongs to Rebecca and Billy are in the mansion. <gasps> we need to find them! Especially Billy. Billy. Who cares about Rebecca? Because Billy's wearing those tight jeans, guys. Yeah, I'm glad that he feels better, uh, Mr. Fox, your cat. Oh, <laughs> he's been. What? Oh my god! Man, Ruvik! Oh! Have a seat, bitch! Dinner's getting cold! <laughs> oh! 
Oh shit, okay, so he comes in early. Okay. Um. <laughs> Guys, I really feel like there was a there was a chest outside. Let me see. No, 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 no. No. Let me see. Auto save. How long ago was that? Was it really? And his muscle shirt. No. All right. There's no going back. There's no going back. We have to take it as it is. Now what? <gasps> oh. So more of... Sebastian's diary. You guys ready for some more tea? Let's let's read about it. All right, Crimson Post newspaper clipping. Tragic fire kills <gasps> child nanny in Crimson City. In February 11th, in 2012, despite the KCFD's uh, wait, KCFD's quick arrival and best efforts, the fast-spreading house fire took the lives of a young girl and their ba and her babysitter yesterday afternoon in the Park Ridge neighborhood of Crimson City. Lily Castellanos, age five. <gasps> oh no, guys, this was Sebastian's little baby girl. And her babysitter, Juanita Flores, age 56, were unable to escape the smoke and flames that quickly consumed the single family home. Lily's parents, both detectives for the KCPD, rushed to the, to the scene, but were too late to save their daughter from the flames. The blaze was finally defeated by firefighters. After several hours, wait, after several hours, but the, but the home was completely destroyed. The cause of the fire is under investigation, but the initial findings point to faulty electric wiring. Continued on page eight, fire. How do you get to that? I think that's it, right? Oh! Hang on a second. <laughs> what the hell? My God. Oh. Nothing. I knew it. Uh oh. This place looks Don't different. I think you should use your green gel. I did. I'm, I'm recollecting them again. <gasps> Look, guys. This place looks different now. Besides the color, before it looked gray, now it looks kind of like reddish. Look, there's the hospital. There's more paintings now as well. I don't know what the hell that is. There's this portrait of that safe and the sunflowers. <gasps> Look! This is a famous painting. Because I feel like that also comes out in The Evil Within, too. Look, we found that painting in the, in the dining room. What the hell is this? Ruben Victoriano, missing. Beloved son of wealthy Victoriano family has not 
been seen since the fire at the family estate. Hmm. And there's a newspaper over here. Bodies found near estate. Identification could take weeks. Four mutila mutilated bodies found just outside the Victoriano estate. The bodies appear to have had various crude surgeries performed on them. Country's estate, countryside estate. Yeah, look at the the buildings, the wallpaper. Wait, this is now we have wallpaper. Wasn't the wall just like a cement wall, just plain? And everything looks like it's becoming rusty and wallpaper's coming apart. All right, guys. Let's go look for Rebecca and Billy and Jill and Chris and what's what's the name of that guy that got bit by the giant snake? They have to be around here somewhere. <gasps> Jill, you better take a look at this. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's blood. Oh, shit. It's him again. Oh, my God. He teleported again. Oh my god. Okay, so we gotta move. We gotta move because otherwise this guy is just gonna keep coming in. Oh, Mr. Fox, welcome back. Wait, Johnny from Metal Gear Solid 3? Oh my god. Can he kill you if he gets too close? If I remember correctly, yes. If he grabs you, it's an instant kill. There, like so there's like no point in fighting him <gasps> but we better do this fast because otherwise he's gonna come in Man, if that huge nail didn't kill him, but this knife did. Ah, oh, shit. Why can't I kill her? I can't kill her! Oh no! Oh, he could hide under the, the table! Oh, goodness. Richard was the name of that guy who got bitten. Richard! There you go, Richard. Oh my god, why does it seem like they could just easily find me?
Why can't I kill her? Gotcha! Man, that's weird. She had to be like in a particular position for me to kill her. Right where she was standing was kind of glitched or something. What do we have here? What are you talking about? doing oh that's something else subject number 58 test 92a electrode placement in m33 pain region ineffective anticipate greater results with stimulation of section f7 Consent region of the neocortex. F7. Subject imprint. Only partially successful. Ha, <laughs> gamer pro. Ill brain. Visual personality traits linger. It looks tasty to me. Is it there? I'm not very good at this. Is that where I'm supposed to do it? I am most impressed. Why are you back? I didn't give you permission. Come now, we're both men of science. Men of science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments. I can show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a layperson may find disgusting. I've done many things others would consider distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? You concern yourself so much with your appearance, but that mind of yours, that's all that matters. That's Marcello. Is that Ruvik with him? <gasps> Ruvik? Wait! Don't forget! Huh? An axe? Oh, thank God! Wait, I hear... I hear a son of a bitch. Where'd 
Where's your light? Okay, there you go. Well, at least we know where the bullets are. There's a monster up ahead. Oh! Sh huh? Oh. Yes! Who do you think you are just barging in like that? Lovely dining room. Look, you see, that's the painting that we saw back at the safe haven with the nurse. It's here too. Lovely frame. All right, let's go before Ruvik comes in. At a... What? No, Ruvik! No! Oh, he locked the door! Where am I going? <gasps> ah! <laughs> Oh, Rivik, have a seat. Let's discuss this. I have a dinner! Oh, he's scared of me. Man, he made me flip. Great. What did I just say? Oh, thank God. Okay, I don't have to start this, that. Uh, what did you call it? Your inner sanctum? A research lab of your own. I am most impressed. Why? <laughs> Why he flipped like that? I know that was a hardcore Thank flip. You permission. Come now, we're both men of science. Men of science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments. <laughs> I can show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a layperson may find disgusting. I've done many things others would consider distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? You concern yourself so much with your appearance. But that mind of yours, that's all that matters. Mm. That's Marcello. <clears throat> Is that Ruvik with him? So, Marcello... Did he blow Seb's head off? I guess. It looked like he was reaching for my... for my neck and then like... <laughs> Did I just get that barrel to land on top of the other one? It was kind of like those wrestling moments. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Nope. Look, this is how Amazon Prime would be if, they, if you want fast delivery. Right here. Thank you for the order. Oh, juice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, we got to go because this son of a bitch... <gasps> Open the door! Whatever is the matter? Nurse, look what's happening. Don't you think this is looking a bit different? I prefer the way it was before. Gray and depressing. Let me see. <laughs> Thank you. 
Did I save? Actually, I did, didn't I? <gasps> oh, well. What's done is done. We can't go back. I was just, it's because I just saw it, and I saw... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. I hate it when it, I can't let it go. It's because I feel like there was probably a statue with a key outside this, this mansion. But it's too late. <clears throat> wow, what a mansion. It has everything. <laughs> Huh? That looks like the same red liquid. So, it looks like we're gonna have to find the rest of the liquids, guys. Let's go over here to the to the right side now. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was a monster over there. Aww. He looks like he's he's with child. The way he's holding his stomach, like, yes. Yes, I am with child. He'll be coming soon. These paintings look familiar. Like if they were from the that one too. Very familiar. Okay, Queen. Sorry. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Remember, guys, the statues or the map fragments can be hidden in strange areas. And I better hurry because what's his face, Ruvik, might spawn in. Funny thing, I almost walked off a. What? Oh, and Death Stranding because of the character wouldn't stop. I'll take that. Diego, sweet! Look, you have a badge, Diego, of a gift box next to your name. That's cute. I guess you, you got it for gifting the subs. Thank you once again, Diego, for gifting that sub to, to Mr. Fox. Very, very nice of you, very kind. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go this way. <gasps> oh, cello. How much for that statue? Oh my... I could have got blown up. I pressed all sorts of buttons. And then the moment it zoomed in on the thing, I was like, oh, focus! Man, I would have gotten blown up. I would have gotten some damage. Oh my god! Okay. 
But like I said, I didn't panic. That was good. That was quick. I like the R badge. Oh, the R! Thank you! Yes! It's so fancy. Speaking of fancy, look at that wig. A piano. Let me play you guys a song. Don't cry to me. If you love me, you would be here with me. You want me? Come find me. Make up your mind. Oh, wait a minute. Mansion music, room note, two worlds. One family. <laughs> Two worlds separated by a jagged chasm. Above faceless spectators mocking the tragedy. Wait, what? Two worlds separated by a jagged chasm. Above faceless spectators mocking the tragedy. Below helpless victims losing everything. You gave me. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're missing some stuff here. I take it. Hmm. Okay, well, let's get out of here before Rubik comes back. to save. Not save head again? What do they call him? Is he called the keeper? Or the butcher keeper? Hello, I'm nurse. Unexpected. Oh, thank you. I'm going to save my progress, please. Okay. So we can't go to that area yet. Is there anything here that we need to find? Any statues? <gasps> it's locked from the other side. Oh, look, there's that same portrait. Oh. Oh, look, the lower safe dial. Okay, so that's one. We got the lower part. This old safe dial is marked with the number zero through, n through nine. <laughs> he looks chill about it. She's the one that's like, oh, again, Henry, again. Look, that's safe again. Look, even this statue is like, oh, Henry, again. Oh shit, that scared the shit out of me. You better hurry.
The eyes were, are torn out, except his. That's supposed to be Ruvik, guys. But didn't we see his picture in the missings page? And the, ki and the child's name was Ruben Victoriano. So where does Ruvik come from? Hmm. Well, either way, we already ran out of time for this episode, my dear friends. So for those of you who are watching me live on my Twitch, stay tuned, guys, because we're going to keep going with this adventure and nightmare of the evil within with our buddy here, Castellanos, Sebastian. Um, and for my YouTubers, we'll see you guys for the next episode. Thank you as well for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves. Have a good day or a good night. Laters.